Mario! In this lecture, we will create an interface using c -sharp code, which will be called the iBreakable interface, and will be implemented by any breakable objects in the game. First, let's go into the scripts folder and create a new folder named Interfaces, which will store any interfaces that we create for our project. Inside of this folder, we will create a new c -sharp script, which we will name iBreakable. We can double-click on this file to open it up in Visual Studio. Inside of here, we will use the interface keyword to make iBreakable an interface. Within the iBreakable interface, we will create a method with a void return type named break. Any objects that implement this interface will have to implement the break function to specify what happens when they are broken. For example, brick blocks, which we will create in this section, will split into four pieces and fall off of the screen when broken. When Mega Mario runs into the pipes or flags in the game, they will smash the pieces. All of this logic will occur thanks to the break function that those classes will implement. Before we move on to the next lecture, we need to commit and push our changes using Fork. Let's open Fork. Then we will right click on one of the changed files and select Stage All. This stage is all of the files that are currently unstaged. Any staged file changes will be saved when we make a commit. We can add a title and a description for our commit, and then click Commit. Finally, we need to push our changes so that the remote repository on github.com has them. Let's click the push button. Awesome! Now our remote repository is in sync with our local repository, aka the file changes on our machine. Music